session tonight and tonight we are going to have our 154th session with another educator from different part of the world and uh, tonight we are having a chairman of the young foreign language <laughs> teacher association and phd candidate at Bucky state university gunai akbarova when she comes we are going to start our last session with her let me accept her invitation she And waiting for the Instagram. Mm -hmm. I received it. I accept it. Hello? Can you hear me? Good night, Ojo. Good night, teacher. Are you here? Good evening. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, finally. Finally, we did it. Okay. Finally, so, yeah. It's, it's, there's a problem, I told you, with the Instagram. I don't know yeah, why, what's happen happening. Sometimes in the Instagram, it's not a problem for us. Oh, we can do everything. Okay, we wonderful. are teachers. <laughs> <laughs> we need to just find a solution for the problems. Yeah. But I'm happy that we'll find a problem solutions for the problem oh, anyway now we can do it it's yes. really nice to see you here yes. Gunayo, and oh, because... nice to see you again here by the instagram after the florida tampa yeah, <laughs> it was <exactly> good <laughs> yeah it was really nice experience for us that the two weeks yeah we were there and the finally four days in tampa for tsol 2024 that was really awesome anyway we were there together and right now we are in our live session and teacher talks with you and I'm, again I'm going to start it with you after because we had a two weeks break here as you know that I was not in Turkey and I couldn't do it so that's why anyway uh, I would like to say thank you very much for accepting my invitation and to become my guest tonight I'm really sure that it's going to be I, I also want to say thanks for you because you also invite me to these live sessions it's really a pleasure for me to come here and to answer your questions and to enjoy to share <laughs> something with with all the teachers uh, from different countries <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sure that it's going to be very fruitful for all of us thank you okay if you're ready we can start yeah all right we have a okay. lot of questions <laughs> yeah i have i have <laughs> all right yeah. then so i'm gonna take uh, the some notes about the questions <laughs> by oh, the way okay. no problem you can you can it's nice all yeah. right so and i know about you gonna jump up maybe our you know the <coughs> audiences would like to know about you so can you tell us about yourself please and a bit about your experiences too yeah. Yeah, of course. I can. The first, my name is Gennady Kvarova. I am teaching. Um, I have been teaching for 15 years in Azerbaijan. My school is IDP school. It's Karabakh Zengilan school. Uh, maybe you know a bit something about the Karabakh things. But it's situated in Baku, in the capital city. Uh, also, I am doing my PhD degree in, at Baku State University. It's my last year this year. Inshallah, I will uh, give my dissertation and 
<laughs> everything will be finished for me. Then uh, also I am the chairman of the Young Foreign Language Teachers Association. We will discuss about this association. Yes, we will. I don't want to say now about the uh, exact materials huh? about this association. Yeah. Then uh, during my teaching years, I have set more than seven books about the English teaching. Yeah, and also more than 35 articles in wow. different, yeah, in different mm -hmm. uh, journals or um, conferences, forums, or like this, it, it, etc. Uh, that's all. Oh, okay, Just okay. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> we will talk about that books and the articles later yeah. again. So thank you very much, Ginnar Jam. All right. So what was or your were turning point or points in your own education? Uh, I have thought about this question. I remembered my first English teacher in my secondary school, primary school. Yeah, she was really great teacher, and she changed everything in my life. I mm -hmm. take most of the things from her. She motivated us. After my secondary school teacher, uh, the main point seeing or main point uh, points in my education life was my master degree time why because when i went to the master degree i saw that the bachelor degree is not looking like the master degree by the way for example we are going to we were going to the conferences or some as a teacher or as a university teachers not school teachers and uh, when we saw that, yeah, we are great, we are grew up, uh, everything has changed for us, uh, it was a point, turning point of my life, yeah. Of your life, I see. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Gunajam. And you have been teaching for a long time, maybe you mentioned it, or 15 years 15 or something years, like yeah. that. Okay, and in this time, you have, to, probably you have tried different methodologies, different techniques and strategies in your lessons. And probably you have a kind of a philosophy, philosophy of teaching. What is it? What is your philosophy of teaching? My philosophy of teaching revolves around creating a supportive and inclusive learning environment. Mm -hmm. Because when we support or create um, inclusive learning environment, we can help all the students. The first mm -hmm. philosophy of, of teaching in my life, I think it's my the best point. Then actually, my goal as an English teacher is not only to impart knowledge, but also to inspire a lifelong passion for learning. Because when we love to learn something during all, all our life, mm -hmm. we will try to get everything not the perfection side but we can do everything we can achieve everything as we see something in the soul conferences or in other places inclusive learning environment and lifelong passion learning like this yeah oh, i see okay thank you <laughs> thank you very much john all right so we uh, we are teachers or we are educators and yeah. probably in our we have a lot of stories in our career and some you know the some difficult stories some success stories and maybe some failed stories in our career so can you tell us about maybe one or two success stories of yours something inspirational but if you want to talk about failed stories you can also mention it. it's your choice <laughs> it's your choice yeah during our life i think all the teachers have faced it a lot of challenges difficulties in their mm -hmm. teaching life and teaching experiences uh, but uh, with you mean with my students or during my trainers time no no it's it's, it's no problem it's your choice like it with your, can be with your matter. students yeah, it can be your, uh, okay mm -hmm. Maybe some, some weeks ago, we were in one of the cities of Azerbaijan as a trainer. Uh, we had given uh, for four hours training time in Lankaran. I don't know if you know or not. <laughs> it's one of the interesting places of Azerbaijan. Uh, 
when we go there, we saw that the electricity has ended. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> All the plus has changed, of course, because we had slides and we have some things with our music or with uh, the IT uh, supportive things. And the electricity has not. And what uh -huh. can we do? Plan B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Which plan, B. plan B. Yeah. All the teachers, I think, all the experienced teachers have the more than one plan because uh, really we need this. When we faced lots of problems, mm -hmm. lots of challenges during our uh, teaching times, uh, we should create some more plans and uh, do it in the right way. Yeah, but the second maybe uh, the challenging thing I remember, it was a year ago. Uh, also, I was invited to a training uh, in the inclusive classroom. Uh, really, I created lots of games, lots of things. And when I went there, I saw that some of them, not some, nearly half of the students can't hear. Oh. Very inclusive. Yeah, and uh, I began to worry that what can I do? What should I do? <laughs> because they can't hear me, and it's a real problem for me. It was the first time in my teaching li uh, life, and uh, I began to write all the things to a paper when mm -hmm. I am speaking. Some of them can hear me, some of them can't hear me. And I wrote all the things to the paper and showed them that, okay, now we are going to, for example, to play this game, the construction of the game, little, little verses, I wrote all of them. Yeah, it was really so interesting and uh, anxious or so experienced day of my life, of my teaching life. Yeah, I can't forget I it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a nice story that you have there. Yeah. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, John. Yeah, okay. okay. So for you, for you, what are the most important qualities and skills a successful English language teacher should possess? Or maybe you can tell about general teachers, generally for teachers, you can also say it, but what is, what are your ideas about it? I have wrote something about these uh, qualities. For example, mm -hmm for me in the first place passion for English and teaching uh -huh. if you love your job you will do everything the first yeah. even in Turkish uh, they have this song uh, yap sevgile yap, like this yeah <laughs> we can do everything yes. uh, love and if we love our work yeah we, we will achieve everything we will exactly uh, yeah then adaptability mm -hmm. We should adapt to our lessons or to our classes. Then empathy and passions, of course, uh, we should have some empathy skills. Uh -huh. We should put ourselves to the student's place. Mm -hmm. It's also so uh, difficult and challenging thing, I, I, in my opinion. I don't know everyone can do it or not. It's more no, for see. me. Yeah, yeah. Creativity. <laughs> the English teachers, yeah, <laughs> exactly. our uh, first yeah, skill, the English teacher's first skill is to be a creative person. Because mm -hmm. uh, I think it's an um, ability which God gave us, <laughs> because not all of the other subject teachers have this ability. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. Be, yeah, creative. Then cultural sensitiv sensitivity. Oh, that's also so important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? For example, just I want to give some examples. We were in uh, different states of the United States. Mm -hmm. For example, we were in New Orleans, in Tampa, and you were also in uh, San, San Diego. Diego. San Diego, Tampa. yeah. And we saw lots of cultural things, lots, lots of international cultures, and we should be so sensitive to these cultures. Exactly. Uh, respect Mm -hmm. these cultures not only the cultures from different countries also mm -hmm. in the uh, same classroom we should do it because we have lots of students from different homes different houses different places mm -hmm. it's so mm -hmm. difficult but useful 
in our mm -hmm. life. Critical thinking. Critical thinking uh, also is so useful, but we spoke lots of about this critical thinking that students should uh, think critically. Uh, we should facilitate them to think critically. It's uh -huh. also okay, good. Continuous learning, lifelong learning, we mean, because uh -huh. uh, students say that, okay, it's enough for me, I learned everything. It's so bad or it's so, how can I say, it's really so bad thing, why? Because if you say that it's okay, I learned everything, I don't need any more, uh, we will finish our job. <laughs> <laughs> if we continue to learn something more, yeah. Then collaboration and networking. Uh, in every side of the teaching styles or in every side of the teachers, we should have some collaboration with our colleges or with the students, not only the colleges, not only the students, even principals. If we mm -hmm. have some collaboration or networkings, we can improve ourselves, we can improve our students also. I These see. are the mm -hmm. main points for me in my uh, teaching uh, life and I also advise these things to all the young teachers. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hijam. Yeah. Thank you, Gina Hijam, about the, your ideas. Okay, so I want to ask you another question about it. And you train, okay, you are, we work also as a trainer in, con in your country. Mm -hmm. So how do you do this? How do you help teachers as a trainer? And what do teachers expect to get from you? And how do they reach you to get your help? As a trainer and chairman of the Young Foreign Language Teachers mm -hmm. Association, I support teachers by providing them with professional development opportunities, resources, mm -hmm. guidance, because in our association, we have more than 4,000 foreign language teachers. When we established mm -hmm. this association, we thought that we should help all the teachers, not only the young teachers, also the experienced teachers, also the students which they are studying in the, in the universities in the foreign language pedagogical side, because also they need help, some uh, experiences or some trainings. It's my uh, training uh, or trainer lifestyle that uh, I I, yeah I it's my as a as my habit and I think that uh, we should uh, be not good but um, useful for other teachers yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I see thank you thank you very much Ajah. <laughs> okay so you know that we are uh we are living in a technology age technological age and it's really not easy to follow it sometimes to follow the technological improvements we sometimes you know the stay behind of it sometimes we face you know struggling to catch it up and uh, what i want to say how do you do this you know how do you stay updated with the latest developments and trends in education Um, from the social media also, mm -hmm. it's our first step because we can uh, follow some creative pages maybe, creative or sites maybe that uh, which they uh, have some interesting and uh, the innovative courses. Also, we should follow the um, improvement countries that uh, which they have a lot of courses about the English teachers uh, and also I think that not from the books because books yeah books okay we learned a lot of things from books but social media or internet or some resources internet resources are so good for us we can follow them and we can learn lots of them and we can use from them too in our lessons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can adapt their program to our country or to our classes. I see. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ajam. And yeah. if I'm not wrong, if I'm not wrong, you have written different books. Yeah. And for children. 
And what are they about? And how do your books help to help them? Um, I have more than six books. Four of them is for primary schools. Mm -hmm. I have a son. He's going to the first grade. Ertuğrul. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Turkish name. Uh, when Ertuğrul started in the first class, I thought that I, want, I should teach him English. Of course, I am an English teacher and my son should learn the English language from me. I began to write something to a draft version. Uh, then uh, I thought that, oh, okay, it can work with the other students too. Then the book story began like this. <laughs> and nice. after the first grade, then the second grade, third grade, fourth grade, even we have the vocabulary from the fifth to eleventh grade students, even we have uh -huh. some other books. Now, now we are working on an encyclopedic series about the climate change, yeah, for the students. Wow. Yeah. Really it's so difficult but so interesting because now even I learn lots of things from them. I mm -hmm. don't I'm know sure it's I the do. it's the same problem in Turkey, Turkey and in Azerbaijan. But in Azerbaijan our English teachers are really so uh, experienced and so educated people. But uh -huh. we have some problems about the speaking conversation topics. So why? Because from our childhood, uh, our books contain it only grammar sites, uh -huh. Gram grammatical exercises, tests, and not the speaking topics. But now they want to change something to the speaking side. And it's the main problem of our teachers and students. Inshallah, we will solve this problem. Maybe not for now. For some years, it will take us, but we will solve this problem. You will solve it. I Is see. it possible in okay. Turkey or not? Which which problem you mean? The speaking uh, problem about the teachers' communication skills. I mean, no, we have a lot of opportunities in Turkey to do it, and different communities, different associations we have, and there are a lot of you know the training sessions and workshops and conferences are happening here so we have a lot of chances to to deal with it mm -hmm. no, no we had to but in the previous time i mean oh maybe before maybe we didn't have a lot of you know the chances before but right now we have a lot mm. Mm -hmm. okay all right <laughs> so let me ask you another one if i'm not wrong you are doing your phd in azerbaijan yeah right uh, now and, uh, so is, it, but yeah. <laughs> is it easy to do it there and what should people or the teachers to do to do it there what are the procedures um in azerbaijan after the bachelor's degree you should go to the master degree after master degree you can choose or you can uh, enter the phd degree phd degree needs three uh, exams the first is a foreign language exam. The uh -huh. second is philosophy exam. The third is your educational, which your um, branch exam, which your bachelor's branch exam. Uh -huh. Yeah, if all of these three exams you can achieve, yeah, you can enter the PhD. It continues three or four years. And mm -hmm. within three or four years, you should write lots of articles. You should write also your dissertation. It's really so difficult to weigh of the uh, PhD, but it's interesting because you learn a lot. Uh, you share a I'm lot. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, like this. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much, Ajam. Thank you very much. And my next question is, you are the chairman of Young Foreign Language Teacher Association. Yeah. So what is it? What is Young Foreign Language Teacher Association and how does this association help teachers and what should teachers to, to become a member of it? Mm, Young Foreign Language Teachers Association established it for nearly two years. We, has, we have established this association with five people. 
Mm. When mm. we were in the Georgian English uh, language conferences, English language teachers conferences, mm. uh, we began to to discuss some issues, some problems in Azerbaijan foreign language teachers, and we thought that we can do it. And from this time, we established this association. Then, till now, we have uh, more than 4,000 foreign language teachers. Yeah, more than 4,000 foreign language teachers. And they are not only young teachers, we have also experienced teachers mostly experienced teachers we choose as a mentors to our young teachers or students right. in the universities mm -hmm. yeah. all their non-profit organizations they don't pay anything they can um, join all of the trainings these trainings are not only from the Azerbaijan English language or foreign language teachers they are uh -huh. also from the different countries uh, especially from the uh, American embassies, trainers, or fellow programs, uh, or the other organizations. Yeah, uh, we have some collaboration between them, and we invite. Also, they came and give some trainings for our teachers. Uh, Great. Mm -hmm. But really, it's uh, I'm so happy because it's non-profit organization, and uh -huh. even we are working there volunteering. Oh. We have. Nice. Spent lot, yeah, we have spent lots of time there volunteering, and uh, I believe that we are uh, we can improve their uh, challenging sides because uh, they are good teachers, and they give some training uh, teachers exams when they enter the uh, uh, schools. Uh, but they need some trainings. They need some. Um, classroom management trainings, they need some improving trainings about their experiences or about their teaching styles. Yeah, we can help them and we are helping them. <laughs> I believe it's that nice. we can help in the future too. Okay, it's wonderful to hear it. Yeah. Good luck <laughs> about you. them to you. Okay, so my next question is about your TG Academy, I think, if I'm not wrong. It's written yeah, TG like Academy. TG, TG Academy. TG Academy, is what is that? In and English. What do you provide <laughs> for the students and teachers? What's that academy for? Actually, this academy is not existing now. Why? Oh. After the yeah, after the pandemic, uh, we wanted to uh, continue this academy. It's a courses, normal uh, English language courses. Uh, the meaning of TG, Tahsili Gece, or education for the future. Yeah, uh -huh. education for the future. And uh, we established these academic courses for uh, the students and for the teachers also. Uh, it um, works, it, it worked for five years. Yeah, after five years, after the pandemic times, uh -huh. <laughs> I it see was, it, yeah, it has some problems with economics or and at that time everywhere yeah close it and we also had to close this academy after this academy we opened this association yeah I and see. Uh, yeah mm -hmm. all right great it's nice <laughs> to learn it but it's sad that you you know the stop that academy anyway but we, now we you are different we, we, we cannot need but uh, <laughs> now we don't think about really we don't have enough time after the association is that um, now we don't but sure. for the future maybe <laughs> okay okay thank you thank you uh, you know John. all right uh, if i'm not actually we were there and we have attended the tissel convention 2024 yeah so what was the best takeaway for you from there nearly all the things really nearly all the things because you know we were eight days in new orleans new orleans has lots of experiences lots of new friendships because all the teachers are from different countries and uh, <coughs> in Azerbaijan, uh -huh. i was only one is that uh, when i went there <laughs> i was really surprised and exciting that oh it's the new experience for me the food the training sessions or going anywhere with our teachers really all the things was uh, so interesting for me and 
there were lots of takeaways from this program. After eight days in New Orleans, we went to Tampa. And uh -huh. also, again, we met with a lot of teachers there. We had a lot of networking there. Also, for example, one of the takeaway is your uh, page, <laughs> Creative English page. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I know so. that uh, nearly, um, I can't say all of the teachers, but most of the teachers will continue their networking because uh, we can share or we can learn from each other. We can improve, Definitely. yeah, mm -hmm. which is with each other. Is that there are lots of takeaways from this program yeah i really thank to the uh, american embassy to give this opportunity for us for the teachers Definitely. yeah mm -hmm. i know that really it's so interesting and um, beneficial opportunities for all the teachers i mm -hmm. hope for the next year not only one teacher from azerbaijan maybe more than one teacher can go there and <laughs> uh, leave or taste these experiences <laughs> definitely i also i have the same feelings you know in also from turkey there are more than three teachers like they take there yeah. and give them give this opportunity to them to feel it to see to realize it to understand understand this experience like us thank you very much for sharing you know Ejim. all right and my next question is about uh, aspiring and the new teachers like what advice as an experienced teacher, what advice would you give uh, to new or aspiring English language teachers like who are just, you know, the start of their teaching career? I wrote something here for new English language teachers who are just starting their teaching careers. I can advise never stop learning. <laughs> ah, that's nice. <laughs> never stop learning. Stay updated. Stay updated uh -huh. because you can learn everything you can uh, have everything or well, is that never stop learning and uh -huh. stay updated on language teaching methodologies techniques researches findings or everywhere connect with other teachers have networking with them or create uh -huh. a positive learning environment it's also the so it, uh, useful thing of the uh, teaching and set clear goals and expectations when you set the clear goals when you are entering the classroom or when you are entering your uh, work or clear goals and expectations you will get the clear things you will get the clear aims returning from, from them but if you don't have any clear goals or expectations uh -huh. from the lesson you will not achieve anything is that mm -hmm. yeah i see thank you Thank you very much, Ajam. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know the time flies and yeah. years, you know the you know the flies by the way, and you know the future is not you know away from us, as you know that suddenly we will find ourselves in the future. Uh, but how do you see yourself in ten years? Will you still be a trainer, teacher, <laughs> or will you try another jobs? What do you think? about this question in the morning i asked this question to our school teachers that just i wanted to hear the some answering from them some, some of them say say that yeah i can change my job some of them said no i can't change my job but for me for me really i can't do another job except teacher uh, except teaching because uh, the school is my life uh -huh. the students are my life if i study or if i teach something to them i get lots of happiness from them and i can, can't do another job except teaching <laughs> <laughs> yeah in so 10 years, you, i think that yeah again i will be a teacher you will be a teacher I see. maybe in the universities because uh, my because of my phd degree but still the same teaching <laughs> mm -hmm. i got it all right thank you thank you very much and what i'm gonna ask now the next one you know that there are some you know the some difficult times we face in our in our lives mm -hmm. and when that time has come we say oh i wish i could this power or this superpower 
so I could easily solve this problem or I wish I could this superpower so I, I wouldn't face this situation or I, I definitely would handle it quickly or easily okay when you think about this situation into your classroom if you had if you could have actually as one superpower to use in your classroom what would it be and how would it help you if i have one super power super power to use in my classroom um, it should be actually i don't know <laughs> maybe, <laughs> oh nice yeah um, maybe to create love all their hearts oh that's nice mm -hmm. yeah because if i can create a love for our subject all their hearts mm -hmm. i think we can achieve everything i yeah. see great thank you <laughs> creating love in their hearts okay that can be a nice superpower maybe for them all right thank you very much and you know jam think that we we'll finish our live sessions and then you step outside your home or office whatever and you find a lot of tickets and end up winning 10 million dollars what would you do <laughs> but be honest please okay yeah i ha have also already uh, thought about these questions that if i have found 10 million dollars or 10 million uh, like this money what should i do what can i do with this money it's my mm, not childhood but it's my dream that to open my own school ah nice yeah but if it, it's the private school but it's non-profit school I, I will not get any money from the students because i want to create all the wonder kid students in this school and wonder kid teachers in this school uh -huh. yeah it's oh, my really it's nice my dream, dream. yeah uh, i don't want to get uh, some money from them just i want to find somewhere other places this money <laughs> and create this school and create this wonder kid students to find all of them from the different parts of the world maybe not from only azerbaijan from different parts of the world and uh, to gather them in the one place super <laughs> i got it yeah. great wonderful i hope i hope you will uh actually you know, start your school yeah start <laughs> yeah. your school and have that lots of wonder kids over there <laughs> all right okay so you know the time flies and now i'm gonna ask you my last question are you ready for it sure what's my yes. motto <laughs> oh, okay what what is your motto uh, i have found a sentence what is my motto strive for progress not perfection i think it's mm. my lifestyle word also uh -huh. strive for uh -huh. progress not perfection not be a perfect person be a progressive person be a motivated person it's, it's useful mm -hmm. i yeah. see can we have yours again strive for strive for progress not uh -huh. perfection. Strive for progress not perfection okay thank you yeah. great thank you very much you know, okay so that's all all my questions you know, and before before ending our live sessions would you like to add anything else uh, actually nothing because nearly we discussed lots of things yeah we had one hour time but the time has uh, flew. <laughs> uh -huh, so exactly yeah uh, maybe for the next time i would like to hear about your educational system and your uh, part of education or the uh, classroom management or about your students because also our teachers uh, in azerbaijan mm -hmm. wants to learn something from turkey of course. Uh, it's also interesting for them of course uh, maybe we can arrange something for them to yeah. discuss and maybe it can be a workshop can be i don't know yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of sure yeah <laughs> webinar why not we can arrange something all right then thank you thank you very much Gnojan. and i would like to say one more time thank you very much Gnojan, for being with us tonight it was really great to really have fun. you here really and we have really fruitful sessions and thank you very much for your 
suggestions for your advice okay and also the most important thing is your time you spent your time here it's really almost 11 p.m in yeah. azerbaijan it's a little bit late <laughs> it's, it's so i think it's time, time to sleep there yeah. it's time to sleep there nearly anyway thank you very much and <laughs> We had really nice uh, uh, conversation with you, and uh, Gunay Akbarova was for inviting. Really, it's uh, so pleasure from my side. Really, thank you. Welcome, You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and Gunay Akbarova was with us with Teacher Talk 154 tonight, and we had a fruitful session with her, and we talked a lot of things with her about her educational background, the things that, that she is doing right over there. And we are going to be here, as you know that, as a teacher talks, we are going to be in next week, uh, as you know that, and on the same day, on the same time, like every Monday at 9 p.m. Turkey's time. And until the next time, wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And until the next time, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, Günayacağım. And bye-bye, everybody, and peace. Goodbye, goodbye, Volkan Hocam. Goodbye, everybody. Good evening. Have a nice day. You too.